There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my Savior, my helper, my Savior, my helper, my Savior. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my all and all. Hi everyone, good evening. I hope everyone is doing fine. This is Evening Devotion with Minister Mark. And our Evening Devotion is taken from Psalms 10 verse 16. The Lord is King forever and ever. Forever and ever, our Lord, you are good. Jesus Christ is not a despot merely claiming that he has a divine right to rule but he really and truly is the lord's anointed it was the father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him colossians chapter 1 verse 19 god has given to him all power and all authority all power belongs to god as a son of man he is now head over all things to his church And he reigns over heaven and earth and hell with the keys of life and death at his belt. Yeah, he he, he defeated the the devil, right, on the cross. So it is really finished. We are just the ones who are scared. But frankly speaking, in Christ, it's finished. In Christ alone, my hope is found. Certain princes have delighted to call themselves kings by the popular will. As certainly our Lord Jesus Christ is such in his church. If it could be put to the vote whether he should be king in the church, every believing heart would crown him. Oh, that we could crown him more gloriously than we do. We would consider no expense to be wasted that could glorify Christ. Yes, frankly speaking, that's the same with me. Suffering will be pleasure and loss will be gain if by these things we could surround his bro with brighter crowns and make him more glorious in the eyes of men and angels. Yes, he will reign. Long live the king. All hail to you, King Jesus. Go forth, you souls who love your Lord. Bow at his feet. Spread the lilies of your love and the roses of your gratitude on his path. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Amen. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My Savior, he is such a wonderful Savior. I can't wait to go to his house again tomorrow evening. Amen.